This is our 7-Eleven breakfast in Tokyo. They had a variety of options. I also had a rice ball with soy sauce, and yesterday we had one with um, a healthy plum. Very tasty. Not the healthiest option. Breakfast option. Does it taste like a Lego my ego? No. It tastes like a very soft, which is surprising. This is in Nara. It's like mochi. Uh, green tea flavored with something sweet in the middle and powder. Delicious. <laughs> Ropeway. I'm gonna try it. Hard boiled black egg. We found this in the subway. Chose it randomly. It's coming out thick like purple. Purple slime. It's like a jelly. Are you gonna be able oh. to drink it? Oh, I just had to like cut it off with my tongue to get it out of the can. It's like legitimately like jelly in here. It's not a liquid. Okay, so we were waiting for a while for Yankee sushi, which we found on accident. What kind of sushi is it? Sushi. Conveyor belt sushi, but it's right tightly. It's right in there. We made it, you guys. <laughs> It has arrived. It was a very small restaurant, only 10 people were present. It was a very quiet restaurant. It was something I've never experienced before, very, you know, tense atmosphere. No one was really speaking. It's a three-star Michelin restaurant, so I feel very grateful to have gone. Some of the sushi was really good, some of it was not. I made a great error today. Joe's son is not a fan of Olivia. Basically, the whole time I had the chopsticks where they were supposed to be on the chopstick holder, and I was very careful about it through all 19 tastings, almost. When we got to 18, number 18, I put them lightly over the soy sauce bowl instead of to the side. And at that moment, they were snatched up quickly, and I was told, manners. Manners. And then he moved them to the holder. Everyone looked at me. Chopsticks need some work. You have to really love it in order to truly enjoy it, just because there's such a variety and the menu's always changing. But that said, you have to really enjoy a variety of tastes. 